<sighs> so bored. There's no one out here to talk to. Uh, am I the only sentient being who knows how to speak? So, I mean, that's pretty cool to be the only one of my kind, but I want someone to interact with, someone to talk to, someone to, I don't know, just be friends with. Uh huh. What was that? I think I heard it coming from over. Ah! Whoa. Um. Hi. Huh? You. You're not an animal, are you? Wow, you can talk. Oh, sorry, I'm just not used to, well, talking to other beings who can also speak. Oh, me? I don't really have a name. All I know is I'm a slime girl. Huh? Whoa, I've never met a vampire before. Or really any other creature. Well, that can verbally speak. I live out here. Yeah, it does get boring, but... I mean, now I have you to talk to, so... That should entertain me for a little bit. Well, I don't really have much to do. Um, I don't exactly have hands. They're not really good for picking anything up. Yeah, they're all slimy, to be honest. And... I can only hold my form for so long before I just turn into a giant pink goop. Yeah, when I do that, I usually tend to sleep for a few hours. Hmm? Mm. Um, I have a question. What were you doing out here? Hunting. For what? What kind of food? No, I've never had food. I can't exactly hold it. I absorb the nutrients through the water. Yeah. Hmm? No, it wouldn't hold. It passed right through me. Think of a ghost who can't touch anything. That's basically me, except for... Well, you can see me. No, no, you're fine, you're fine. Um, what should I call you? <laughs> uh, Alright, vampy it is. <laughs> you can't exactly hurt me, idiot. I'm all slime, I can't feel anything, I don't have any nerves. Nope. What's pain? The sense of feeling hurt? I've never experienced that before. 
tell me, what's it like? Oh, so it's when something injures you and then the nerves um, send signals to the part that was hurt and it makes you aware of the injury whoa i wish i could feel that but i'm just stuck with goop goop that doesn't last very long at that i can only spend it up to three days in this form before I go back to sleep for a few hours. Yeah, you don't get much done when you're in this form. And the worst part is I can hardly ever leave the water. Because when I sleep, that's when my body absorbs the nutrients that it needs. So I can never be too far away. Also, it just keeps me nice and moist. Huh? Yeah, sure, you can hold my hand. Uh, do be warned. I'm a little sticky. See? Yeah, you mean I can hold things, they just can't be too heavy. Like if you were to place that little branch behind you in my hands. I could probably hold it, but after a while it just, well, go through me. What's a hug? No. I don't have any parents. We don't exactly procreate. Do you know what asexual is? Yeah, we have that. So basically, when we get um, close to death, we will make a copy of ourselves. And that's how a kid is made, for us at least. So no, I never knew my, um, my parent. I'd be too young to remember anyway. I don't exactly know. All I remember is one day, someone found me, or... Let's just say I've watched them for a few days because they were camping out here. And they left a book behind. And I think that's what you call it. And... I don't know. Some of the words just clicked for me. And now I can speak fluently in whatever language this is. What's this called, by the way? English? Whoa. Cool. Are there any other languages beside English? <gasps> there are? What kind? Do you know any others? Oh. I thought one was impressive. Hey, um, can you do me a favor? Because I'm gonna have to go soon. Um, can you maybe bring me some books and teach me those other languages? You can? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, if only I could hug you. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. It was nice meeting you.
um, same spot next week. <laughs> Alright. Bye.